Hello everyone, this is Just a Dad. Today I'm gonna to show you how to descale this Keurig K-Iced coffee maker. So is your coffee not coming out as hot as it used to be? Is when you press the eight ounce, if you don't get eight ounces, and if the descale light is on, I'm gonna show you how to put it into a special descale mode and get that light to go out and clean the inside of your coffee maker. Now I'll be using distilled white vinegar. You can use just regular white vinegar. You're gonna need 14 ounces which is basically two cups of vinegar, and then we're gonna do it at 50 to 50 with two cups of water. Okay, so around back, nope. Okay, so around back in the water reservoir, you may or may not have a carbon water filter. You don't have to have one for this coffee maker to work, but if you do, we're gonna remove it for the duration of this process. Go ahead and empty out your water reservoir and make sure there's not a cake up in here. So we're gonna leave this empty up here. Now, during this process, you want to make sure the add water light comes on during this process because there's a logic board inside that needs to see that add water light so that it will go to the next step. You're going to first run the solution through, then you're going to do fresh water rinses. Now, sometimes there is an over, there's a thermostat on the heating element, and sometimes it does trip during the descaling process. I have another video how to open this up, and we can reset that. But while we're doing this process, we want to let it rest for about 30 minutes. We're going to run the solution through it. We're going to let it rest for about 30 minutes, and then we're going to do our fresh water rinses. Okay, so let's dump in our 14 ounces or two cups of, that's pure vinegar. And then we're going to do just regular tap water. This dilutes it to a 50-50 ratio. Okay, so we're going to be following the descale procedure in the quick start guide. Here it is the procedure we're going to be following. Now they recommend descaling this every three months or when the descale light comes on. Okay, so there's a very important step. To put the machine into descale mode, it has to be powered down. You want to make sure it's plugged in, but you want it powered down. Now it powers down after five minutes, or you can unplug it, plug it back in. But if you open this lid or something, it's going to power it up automatically. Then you're going to have to wait five minutes. So make sure none of these lights are on. It's plugged in. Now we can put it into the descale mode. Okay, we're simply going to hold the 8 and 12 ounce button together, but make sure you can see this is going to start flashing. We're going to hold those together at the same time. Okay, see how the descale is flashing and the 12. Now get your cup of water. It's going to dispense hot water or that descaling solution or the vinegar. And now to activate it, you're going to press the 12 button. It's going to run 12 ounces of the solution through the machine. And again, be careful, it will come out hot. Okay, so it's finishing up with this. I'm going to go dump this out and we're going to press that 12 button again. Okay, so on mine, the add water light came on. I would have thought I would have got one more run out of it, but my add water light is on. If You may get one more where you have to press that 12 button again and it may run your tank down a little bit farther. Okay, so when your add water light comes on, now let it sit. You wanna let it sit for about 15 to 30 minutes. Kinda of let it cool down just a little bit. Don't open the handle, don't unplug it. Um, just let it sit. Now, we're gonna dump out, you can let this solution sit in here too, that kinda of cleans the tank. Now I'm gonna take this over, I'm gonna dump this out, and I'm gonna rinse this out with water and fill it all the way up with fresh water. Okay, so I've got this filled up with fresh water. As soon as you put it back on, the add water light's gonna go out. And then the 12 is going to start flashing again. Now we're going to press the 12. Again, this is a fresh water rinse. But it's very important that it never comes out of descale mode. If it does come out of descale mode or you hit a glitch, you're going to have to unplug it and start all over again. Now, the next time you start, you can just use fresh water. Use that proper amount, 14 ounce, 14 ounce, and then put it in descale mode and you can complete it. Because you got to complete the logic inside of having a, that add water light come on and then doing the fresh water rinses and then it will turn the descale light out. And then with these fresh water rinses, it's gonna come out of descale mode automatically. We're gonna run this, we're gonna press the 12 again, dump that out until the add water light comes on. Now when the add water light comes on, this next time it'll come out of descale mode. Okay, so there's the first 12 ounces. I'm gonna go dump that out and we'll do another one. You can see I'm still in descale mode, so just press the 12 button. And this whole time, that descale light is flashing. Now, if your add water light never comes on, keep an eye on it. Don't ever run your Keurig dry. That's when that thermostat on the inside could trip. If your add water light's not coming on, you're just going to have to unplug it and start all over again. And hopefully, 
maybe prime the pump by press by putting the water tank on and off about 20 times that might help with the add water light but your add water light has to come on in order for the to come out of descale mode okay so that's the second one i'm going to go dump it out i still have more water and the add water light's not on now that that descale light does come on automatically after 250 brews so my add water light probably was, is going to come on at the end of this 12 ounce. Now, again, even during the fresh water rinses, never let this tank run out empty. If you see that it's gonna run empty, you're gonna wanna unplug it. Okay, so it's finishing up. Okay, my add water light did come on. Now, I haven't come out of descale mode, so I gotta fill the water tank up with water. So I'm gonna fill the water tank up and you're gonna see that should come out of descale mode. Okay, as the, when the add water light went out, I came out of descale mode. Okay, so uh, for some reason, mine did not come out of descale mode. So yours may or may not come out of descale mode. I'm still in descale mode. I'm gonna leave this in there. Sometimes these glitches, when they happen, they happen so other people can see this. I wanna see that. Again, you may come out of descale mode or you may not. So I've got the water tank filled up again. Let's start by running the 12 ounces again. Okay, so I'm still in descale mode. I just got to keep running water through it until I, that add water light comes on again. Okay, so we're going to see if it comes on after we run this one. So I'm still in descale mode. Okay, I came out of descale mode. So the add water light never comes on. The 12 ounce shuts off and the descale light shuts off. So that took a little extra step, but I eventually came out of descale mode. Now you can fill your water reservoir up. I'm gonna flip this up. Now, that, so it did see, now my add water light is on. So that's, the, the circuit card inside there saw the add water light and turned the descale light off. Now the reason we descale, here's the heating element out of another Keurig. There's the opening where the water sent, gets uh, sent through and gets heated up. So the hard water deposits can close that off. So you won't get as much coffee out and you, your water won't be as hot. And then if your unit trips and it loses all power, there is a thermostat you can reset with a paper clip, which I show you in another video. So I hope this video helps. If you could below the video, give it a thumbs up. That really helps my uh, YouTube channel. I've got several different videos on this coffee maker, how to use it, how to make iced coffee, how to use a reusable K-cup, how to put it into high altitude mode, how to add a filter in the back. I really appreciate everybody's support. Again, if you could like and subscribe, and thanks so much for watching.